Hey YouTube, this is iReviews15, and today we're going to be taking a look at Need for Speed Undercover for iPhone. Need for Speed Undercover is a very interesting game that has been transferred from most gaming platforms like PSP, PS3, and Wii down to the iPhone. They have done many good things and many bad things in bringing it down to the iPhone level. The graphics are particularly very good, but you don't get the in-city driving mode that you would get in Need for Speed Underground. Overall, there are many um, cars and customization features they can also do. Let's just enter a race. It's very similar to Undercover on PC or on Wii or Xbox or any of the normal gaming platforms. The controls are very similar, there's an auto accelerator and then after the accelerator you touch the screen to brake, you steer left and right and then to use boost you slide forward and slide back for the speed breaker. To drift, you just have to push the screen to the left, and it works. It's a very smooth game experience, and, it's very, and there's many great graphics on it. The controls are very easy to get a hand of, and there's many, and it's pretty fun. So as you can see, the controls are very easy to get a hang of. It's very easy to get uh, to play the game, and there's many good tracks and very creative environment. The only downside to this game is that there's the acceleration is auto, which is sometimes not as easy. Sometimes it's funner to actually accelerate the pedal right here in the corner. Also, you can, there's no drive in city mode, which is one of the trademarks of the Need for Speed games like Undercover, Carbon, etc. Thanks for watching the review of Need for Speed Undercover for iPhone. Be sure to check out our new website, www.irreviews.nfbiz.com. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.